Hello everyone, Adrienne here. So yes, I'm doing something different from an absinthe review. Shocking. I'm really sorry for the really big influx of absinthe reviews that I've been doing. It's just that I have so much absinthe to review. I have a lot of samples in my cabinet that need to be attended to properly and a lot of stuff that distillery owners and stuff have sent me as well as other members of the absinthe community. So I really appreciate you guys being patient about that. So I just want to say thank you for that. And also I just want to say things are in the works for getting ready to release my single. Um, I don't think I'm going to reveal the name of it just yet. I think I'll wait until my next absinthe video, but things are underway. Um, I'm just working out things with the distribution company that I'm using as well as waiting on the artwork from the artist who is working on it. The same artist, by the way, who did the Jade labels. So you see this bottle of Jade Terminus Oxygenate behind me? Yeah, the same artist who did that is doing my album art, which is amazing. Can't believe that happened. That was a, just incredible, but I'll tell you all about it in a separate video. So on the subject of music, I am going to be discussing some up and coming and rather new goth music projects that are out there that you should definitely go and support. And I'm also going to be mentioning in passing a couple of projects by OG goth bands from the 90s that are continuing to make music, so that's pretty exciting. And one of the bands I'll be talking about today is actually doing a dance remix of my single that is coming up soon. So again, super exciting. I cannot wait for you guys to hear the single and the remix when it comes out. So let's go ahead and get started on these different music projects. First project I'm going to be discussing today is Shatin Muse. This band came out with their first album earlier this year and continues the tradition of the new German death art movement that began in the early 1990s. Super exciting. I love anything that is involved with 90s goth. It's incredible. This is certainly an exemplary modern example of the new German death art movement. Fans of ethereal music like Lycia and Sopra Atronis and the Ensemble of Shadows, I think will really, really enjoy this band. And I know that I definitely do. So here's a little listen of Shat and Muse. The next band I'm going to be discussing is Male Tears. This band is positively excellent. I think you guys will really love them. They describe themselves as dark electro, and I'd say they kind of straddle the line between industrial and dark wave, but they're so dancey, so dark, brooding, have wonderful vocals, and I absolutely adore them. I have since become friends with the kind of mastermind behind the project. And so if you are a fan of The Frozen Autumn and Third Realm, I think you'll really, really dig it. Their most recent single is called Dealer and I love it, of course. It is so dark and brooding and so dancey and really sexy. I just love it so much. Also, keep your eye out for upcoming songs from them that may feature samples of my operatic vocals. And like I said, they are currently working on a dance remix of my first single that is currently being prepared for release. So look out for that too. Um, that will be included in physical copies of my single when they are produced and on the distribu distribution platforms that I will be using as well. But anyway, carrying on. <laughs> Here's a little sample of some of Male Tears. Black 
Next up is Twin Tribes. This is my best friend's favorite band, so I wanted to give them a feature here on my channel. You've probably heard them already with how popular they are. They are a great new goth rock project that makes me think of The Wake and The Frozen Autumn Had a Baby, so obviously I love these two elements put together. And I think it's a really interesting combination that I think will really, really catch your attention and keep you wanting more. Here's a little piece of Twin Tribes. The next band I'll be discussing is Ruin of Romantics. This is a new project based out of Paris, France, and I'm positively obsessed. I was informed about this band by the lead singer of Lycia, Tara. She's great. I love her. I'm so glad that she is around to talk with fans new and old, and that just makes me really, really happy. <laughs> So everything you love about bands like Lycia, The Shroud, and Gossamer comes together in Ruin of Romantics. Gorgeous deep male vocals, which sound just incredible. Rich soundscapes, velvety atmosphere, strains of guitars here and there, and some tiny little tendencies toward goth rock, little flourishes of dark wave in there as well. I think like I said, you will absolutely eat it up. If you love the bands that I mentioned, I think you will adore Ruin of Romantics. And here's a little sample of what they sound like. And next up is European Ghost. This was recommended to me by a friend on Facebook and I gave them a listen. I love them. And this project is based in Italy and described themselves as falling in between electronic, dark wave, and post-punk. And the band that they remind me of the most is Corpus Dolecti. So if you need more for your 90s goth revival fix, that is definitely coming within the last like few years, like up and coming, rising and making itself known. I think this will definitely satisfy you. And now I'm going to be revisiting one of the other like newer goth bands that I have previously discussed. So The Cult Sounds has released a new single. I know that I've covered uh, The Cult Sounds within the last year or so, and I absolutely love their music. I've been following very, very closely. And if you're interested in my previous review of them, I will leave it in the description below. They've come out with a new single called Phantom, and it fucking slaps. It really does. It really gives me serious London After Midnight vibes with some industrial overtones that really creates a gorgeous and intense gothic symphony that I absolutely adore. This makes me so excited for their future projects on the horizon.
finally, I would like to talk a little bit about The Wake. So The Wake is one of those staple bands from the goth scene in the 1990s. Obviously, I love 90s goth. It's amazing. And they have released a new album, super exciting. And my friends Angela Benedict and Victoria Fashion went to go see them live recently, super exciting. I'm really sad that I missed out on it, but I was in LA recording my song and I can't really uh, travel for a while <laughs> after that, but it was totally worth it. So Victoria actually recently interviewed them on her channel. I will leave a link for that in the description below if you are interested in checking it out. I think it was super fascinating, super well done. Victoria, brava. Also, I love you. <laughs> it was so exciting to finally meet you when I went to LA. Anyway, so please go check that out. And um, I have one more thing to mention. The Awakening, one of my favorite bands of all time, is coming out with a brand new album. Unfortunately, the name escapes me right this moment because I'm just so pumped about it. But Ashton Knight has done it again. He is going to be releasing a new album toward the end of the month. I'm really, really excited about it because, duh, it's The Awakening. Just makes my heart flutter thinking about it. <laughs> And uh, once again, The Awakening is another staple like goth band that came up in the mid to late 1990s and they are still making music, which is amazing. To have an OG 90s goth band still making music is incredible. So the point of this video is to not only showcase some of the new goth projects that are out there that you should definitely go out and support, but also support the ones that are still making music, still touring, still making new material and stuff for us to enjoy and bask in and sometimes even drown in nostalgia. So I'm really, really excited for the Awakenings new album. I'm really excited for The Wake's new album. Wow, really similar names, I just realized. But anyway, so please go check them out. I will leave all the relevant links for everything in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Again, I'm so sorry about the influx and the flooding of uh, absinthe reviews that I've been doing the last few months, but you know, it's one of those things that's in pretty high demand as far as the content on my channel is concerned. And every now and then I do want to devote the time to featuring and showcasing new goth projects and goth musicians and everything like that so that they get the proper attention, so that they can be supported, checked out, all that fun stuff. You know, I've definitely created a really good business for myself as an absinthe drinker and I guess absinthe reviewer and more recently a consultant even. That's incredible. I am also making absinthe content on TikTok, um, absinthe content here, obviously. And again, whether it's because of my music reviews or my absinthe reviews, my gothic literature reviews, I so appreciate you being here for whatever it is you're here to see. That being said, thank you so much to everyone for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already and you would like to see more videos on gothic literature, goth music, absinthe reviews, and other things on the horizon. And thank you so much to my patrons for your support every single month. I really, really appreciate it. I really seriously couldn't do this without you. And to everyone, you're amazing. I love you, and I will see you guys later. Bye!